Hey guys, welcome to Film Learn, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And I can hear you all breathe the collective sigh of relief that I'm finally tackling this very requested uh, request. As you can see, an absolute crapload of you asked for Savitar voice effects. Yes, today we'll be jumping back into Adobe Audition and taking on the God of Speed. Now basically, all you need to do to complete this effect is do your best gravelly voice, as both Savitar and Dr. Alchemy are both voiced by none other than Jigsaw himself, Tobin Bell. And he doesn't exactly have a velvety voice. Hello, William. Exactly. But apart from that, the magic all happens in Audition. So let's stop farting around and get to work. Okay guys, here we are in Adobe Audition and I've got my voice recording ready to go, so let's check that out first. I know your strengths, I know your weaknesses, I know you better than you know yourselves. As you can hear, nice and gravelly with just a hint of evil, just a hint. Now gang, I've also removed the background noise from the audio too. If you'd like to know how I did that, check out the video on the end screen or down in the description. So what's our first step? Well, that will be starting a new multi-track session. So let's head up to the multi-track button, click that and add a new multi-track session and call it Savitar. From there, let's drag our Savitar audio clip onto both track one and two. So we now have two iterations of the exact same audio. Next, we're gonna apply a couple of effects to the top track. So let's hit the S button here to solo it and then we'll head down to the effects rack. Okay, over here is the effects rack. What we're gonna do is click the menu button or this little arrow here, head to time and stretch and select pitch shifter. Now since my audio is kind of deep and gruff already, I'm only going to set this to say minus 5. So let's check out a preview. I know your strengths. I know your weaknesses. I know you better than you know yourselves. Hmm, nice and deep. Now guys, if you need to, you can play around a bit here and either raise or lower the pitch further to match the way mine sounds here. Next, we're going to add yet another effect. We'll head straight over to the effects rack and click the next arrow down to activate another effect. This time around, it's gonna be special and select Guitar Suite. Let's then drop down that presets menu and select Big and Dumb. Time to tweak some settings. Let's set the resonance to 100, the distortion amount to 30, and finally, the mix amount to 65. Time for a listen. I know your strengths, I know your weaknesses. I know you better than you know yourselves. Not bad, but I think it's time to bring in track two. So let's unsolo track one and have yet another listen. I know your strengths. I know your weaknesses. I know you better than you know yourselves. Now it's pretty good, but let's add a finisher. Let's select track two, head over to the effects rack, activate the menu, and then we'll select modulation and add a flanger. Jump up to that presets menu and head down to robotic, and then we'll set the amount to say 35%. Okay. On to our last step, we need to play with the balance between these tracks just a little bit. And by that, I mean we need to lower the volume of track 1 just a smidge. That way, our bass performance isn't overwhelmed by the pitch and distortion effects. So I'm going to lower it, say, 3 decibels. Now, let's have a listen to our final mix. I know your strengths. I know your weaknesses. I know you better than you know yourselves. Nice. All that we have left to do now is mix that down to a single track. To do this, highlight the entire audio clip like this, right click, head right down and select Mix Down Selection to New File. We'll then click Time Selection, and that my friends is another audio effect done. Add up all those steps and your voice goes from this. I know your strengths, I know your weaknesses, I know you better than you know yourselves. Uh, to this. I know your strengths, I know your weaknesses, I know you better than you know yourselves. So guys, that's my take on Savitar's voice effect. As you can see, it's not really hard, like, at all. So if you enjoyed the video and its speed, my God. don't forget to smash that like button and share it to everyone and your mama. Next week, we'll have yet another voice effect that will no doubt rival it. Eh? Eh? How subtle was that? <sighs> so gang, that is of course my time. Once again, I really appreciate you supporting the video and giving it a like. And if you're new, be sure and click that subscribe button right here. Over yonder is a couple of other voice tutorials. Social media crap is up there above my head. Patreon info is down below. And until I see you next week, 
keep learning.